hello guys welcome to first technics youtube channel in this video we are going to perform how to install mysql 5.7 on ubuntu 24 20.04 so here i have installed ubuntu 20 on my system let's verify the os version command is to check the os version cat etc os release and here you can see that i have installed ubuntu 20 so first uh, download the mysql app repository for ubuntu okay it's downloading next install this app package Okay, here it is asking to select the mysql server so click on first option then you have the option then select mysql 5.7 and click on ok and here also click on enter ok okay now update the system packages Now install the uh, apt catchy policy to select the appropriate MySQL 5.7 version. Okay, here we have the option uh, for the MySQL 5.7 packages. So here in we are going to install this MySQL 5.7.30 and for Ubuntu. Now install the MySQL 5.7 MySQL client. Okay. So till now MySQL not released for Ubuntu 20. So here we are installing of the Ubuntu 18 point packages. So install this uh, MySQL client 5.7 then here click on y okay it is installing my school client Now next install the MySQL server. Okay, here type Y. Okay, so it is installing MySQL community server. Okay, here it is asking to set the root password. Okay, enter the root password and click on OK then re-enter the root password then click on ok let's wait till install
okay my my sql 5.7 was in, installed on ubuntu 20. so let's install uh, one more packages Next, uh, verify the MySQL is uh, working or not. And command is sudo systemctl status MySQL. So here you can see that MySQL server is running. So next, uh, secure the MySQL 5.7 server and using the using my sql secure installation script okay here i is asking for the root password enter the root password then it is asking to validate the password plugin if you want to yes so it's recommend to validate the password plugin then why then for the password validity policy so here are the three options low medium and strong so here i am selecting medium so option is one then if you want to change the root password then you can change so here i am not changing the root password then next remove the anonymous user okay and also disallow the root login remotely type y if you want to remove the test databases you can so here I'm, i am removing the test databases type y then final option is to reload the privilege okay, type y okay so we have secured the mysql 5.7 server next login to the mysql 5.7 server and command is mysql hyphen u username is root and hyphen p is for the password then enter the root password you enter the file installing mysql 5.7 here you can see that we have installed mysql 5.7 on ubuntu 20 to exit from the mysql prompt type exit so next uh, let's create uh, one user in mysql 5.7 so again let's log into the mysql mysql hyphen u user root hyphen p password enter the root password then let's create uh, one user so here i am creating the mysql remote user and command is create user username i am giving and password also giving okay then type enter next allow the privilege to that uh, user and command is the grant all privilege star for uh, dot means all databases for username post techniques and with grant option so with the grant option so using this user he can create a another user using this user so then enter okay now reload the privilege to take effect okay and command is plus privileges okay so we have created the one remote user on mysql 5.7 uh, if you want to exit from the mysql prompt then type exit so let's uh, next let's enable the remote access and uh, configuration file is the etc mysql mysql con d and mysql d dot cnf To enable the remote access if you want to 
access micro databases from the remote machine. So here you have to change the bind IP addresses. So here I am allowing to connect MySQL from any server. So here I am changing 0 .0 .0 .0 means any server can connect to this MySQL server using the uh, server name or IP username and password okay if you want to allow particular IP so here you can enter IP also so once uh, change click on exit to save save this file okay so we have enable remote access in mysql 5.7 to take effect restart the mysql and command is sudo system ctl restart mysql Let's check the status of MySQL and command is sudo systemctl status and MySQL. Okay, the MySQL is running. All the commands I have mentioned in the video description. Thanks for watching this, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.